Hi, I'm Harry Bentley. I'm here back in the UK on the off-season. As you can see, I'm at Goodwood Racecourse. I'm here to talk you through this unique racecourse. Most of you have probably never been here before, so hopefully I can give you some insight. And they're off for the Ayrshire Camp Goodwood Cup. So the 3,200 metre start, you go back down on yourself where you would be, would be coming up for the 2,000 metre start. So that race is all the way downhill. You can often get horses slightly over racing if they can if they're a bit keen because you are really running downhill and and you're at the start of the race so the horse is still full of running they can just start motoring and getting away from you down that hill so you've got to make sure that you really do your best to try and get your horse relaxed also what can make it quite difficult is that you're switching back from rail to rail in order to get the shortest route and at that point you then start climbing again and then you've got slight dip before they then climb all the way up to the top bend again. What you'll often see them do in the race is really slow the pace down in front. The lead horse tries to get a good breather into his horse and it'll often stack the horses up behind. At the very top of the straight, you're still a long way from home, you can get a good breather into your horse before starting to roll on down the hill into the straight and, and, and making a run for it. On the far side, Kiprios near side of Stradivarius. Kiprios has just denied Stradivarius a fifth Goodwood Cup. In that bottom bend, you've got the 2,000 metre start. That's different that it doesn't go round the back bend, but instead it comes up this uh, nearer part of the race course. That also climbs all the way up until the top bend here until you start turning for home. You go around the, the, the same top bend. It's a very similar part of the race course you're going on, but instead of uh, it dipping it any way, that is just a gentle, gentle climb all the way to the top of the track. But it's Nashua who's coming home, best of all, to win the Qatar Nassau Stakes under Holly Doyle. Nashua the winner. So now we're going to talk about the 1600 metre start. The first, I would say 100 or 200 metres, you are slightly running downhill. But then, and then you start to climb into the bend. It probably suits horses that are drawn closer to the rail. This is a different layout with the fact that you are now going around the bottom bend. It's a lot more of a sloping curve. So instead of, um, if you imagine driving your car around a nice smooth turn, um, the top bend would be the equivalent of a, a hairpin turn. So you really have to slow down into that bend get your horses balanced whereas the, where the mile start is this bend is a lot of a smoother curve and it just flows that little bit better. I think ideally in this race you would probably want to be in somewhere in the first half of, of the pack. If you can imagine you're on a horse you're in second place you're following the lead horse and you're looking for an exit you're just waiting for this cutaway to open up and you have to then make a decision. Do you go down the inside or do you strain a straight line hoping that he's going to go to, to the inside? So a jockey has to make that decision in the moment and what he feels is right at that time. But hopefully if you're traveling well, you've got enough horse underneath you, you can, you can make that call and get a clear run and, and go on to, to win the race. And here is Bayid now, asked the big question on the outside. Bayid cutting them back, Modern Games putting up a fight, but Bayid, oh, this horse has got gears that other horses do not possess, and it's nine from nine! Bayid and a canter! The course is extremely undulating, unlike any other race course I've ridden at before. You've got extreme downhills as, as well as uphills and tight bends. So there's a lot to contend with and you really need the right sort of horse and balanced horse to, to uh, suit this track.